Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Sean from RideSharing101.com. Hey, I was supposed to do a video about insurance. I was supposed to do part two about what to do if you're getting into it, if you got into an accident. First part was the actual accident and dealing with the, uh, you know, getting the damage fixed in the rental car. Today was supposed to be about um, how, how to get paid for some soft tissue injuries, just kind of basic negotiating things to think about. And also then I was gonna do another part about specifically about getting into an accident when you're an Uber driver and on the clock with uh, with Uber or your, your rideshare company. But uh, something came up. I um, There was a video by the rideshare professor um, about Uber possibly going into the financial products market. And I, I watched it, I listened to it. it, it sounded all right, but I didn't really think much about it until I was, um, scanning the newswire this morning and I saw there were a couple of websites that picked this up and kind of were going with it. So I thought that I would kind of add my two cents. And basically, although I did not get this email from Uber, I have seen it. They sent out an email to people um, basically saying that they may be um, coming out with a financial product. And then they also asked uh, people if they had ever taken out for a loan of, uh, or if they've taken out a loan for less than $1,000 in the last three years. And a lot of people surmise that this was an attempt to um, determine if there was uh, a market for them to get into the payday loan business. Now, I'm in California. Um, payday loans are a different state to state, but I know it, basically the general premise is you go into a payday loan place and you get an advance against your next paycheck. Normally what it is is you get $255 cash and then when your payday comes, you pay back 300. You can get lesser amounts, but it's the same, same principle. Generally, you, you pay the loan back next payday. If you take out the loan with your payday being less than a week away, they give you payday afterwards. Generally, it's no longer, no more than three weeks before you have to, to pay this back. So you go in, you either pay back in cash or you can have them take it directly out of your checking account. If they take it out of your checking account, you have to wait for it to clear before you take another one. Uh, if you pay them back in cash, you can what they call reloan on the spot, which is take out another payday loan and then you pay it back in two weeks. Um, payday loans are, are a big business. There's a lot of money that, that is made in that department. I do not blame these payday loan companies. Obviously, there's there's a market for it. They're filling a market. They're making money. Uh, it's monitored. It's regulated. I get it. I don't really like it. I think it takes advantage of the people that can less that can least afford it. But to to each his own. But what I find kind of reprehensible is. There's a very low barrier to entry in the rideshare business. You need a car that's safe, you need to have insurance, and you need a valid driver's license, and basically, you can be a driver. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's uh, it's great if you need some additional money. Sorry, that was a scooter. Anyway, I'm in a parking garage. Um, but basically, if you got some free time and you're willing to drive, you can make some extra money. And that's great for people that have some extra bills that they want to pay off. Um, if they plan for something and, you know, they want to earn earn money, you know, for that event, I, uh, you know, I commend them for, you know, being active and, and taking care of business. But there's a lot of people, for whatever reason, they can't get any other work or this is the only work that they're trained for, or this is the only work that fits the hours when they can drive. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. I can make 20 to 30, 35 bucks an hour. Not, not uncommon. Other areas, people don't make as much. There's not as much of a demand. Um, talk to my friend Linda up in Medford. Sometimes drivers up there might go 10, 12 hours before they make 100 bucks. Other towns in California, Guayrica, Barstow, Fresno. Demand's not as high, the rates aren't as much. Tips nearly not as as much as they are in the, in the San Francisco area. So 
you know, for them, it's a struggle and more drivers getting into the market. There's no cap. So Uber basically is just like scattershot approach. All the drivers in the world, it doesn't matter because we're getting a little bit from each one. So for somebody that's trying to do it full time in one of the smaller markets, having access to a payday loan might not necessarily be a good thing because if something happens to your car or your health and you can't drive, you're going to have problems paying the money back. You know, you take out a payday loan for whatever, you know, you spend the money and then boom, you run over some nails or some construction debris, you get two flat tires, it's $150, $200 to fix them. You don't have any money, you can't fix them. You now can't drive, you can't pay back the loan. You go into default, you go into collections. It's, um, it, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Uber, um, really, uh, you know, I understand that uh, they need, they don't need to make money, they need to make a profit. And I, I keep thinking of the old Green on Red song, which is, it takes money to make money, they say. Isn't it funny how love doesn't work that way? Great song, underappreciated band from the 80s, Green on Red. You should check out Gas Food and Logic. Um, but, it, you know, the thing is, is if Uber had run their company like a business, they wouldn't be losing $2 billion a quarter. They have a glutted staff. They have a crazy bonus structure. Uh, they spent to basically get market share and then when they got it they still kept spending instead of spending bonuses that encourage drivers to drive they spent money just to get a bigger piece of the pie so um, I, I think this this is a really bad thing because Uber is now they basically, they're in, they're in your economy. They're in your banking structure. You, you get a loan and then boom, they deduct it automatically from your wages. Now you have to drive even longer, driving more hours, you're more tired. Um, your health suffers uh, a, a little more. You know, people, no one's forcing people to take payday loans, I understand that. But, you know, Uber is supposedly a technology company and supposedly we are not employees, we're independent workers. So um, why not just stick to, to rideshare? If you wanna be a bank, then get out of the business and be a bank. My, my, my two cents, but really I, I think I just shake my head. I mean, there's a reason why a lot of Uber drivers hate Uber, and it's for things like this that they do. They're just showing you that they don't really care about the workers, because if they did, they wouldn't go into the business of these predatory loans. I mean, it's bad enough that Uber went into the predatory loan car business. Um, my opinion, um, I've got to say words like that because I don't want to get sued by Uber. Um, they have more lawyers than I do. I might know better lawyers, but they've got a lot more of them. And uh, if I'm an Uber driver, I'm probably not independently wealthy. So just my opinion that Uber in the, was in the predatory car loan business. Um, but I think there were some lawsuits and settlements about that as well. I could be wrong, but hey, you know, um, it's, it's tough enough being a rideshare driver. I, I have always maintained that you shouldn't be a driver, you should be in the rideshare business and use the deductions, start a business, use the deductions um, uh, other than the standard deduction and actually get money back at the end of the year. But that's a whole other video and a different, different way of thinking. But I, I really think this is sort of unnecessary and I, I think Uber 
I know they have no shame, but they should get some. All right, guys, be safe, and we'll see you next video.